Excellent. So, um, we are gonna start. I love this film. You guys were amazing in it. Um, but for the people that haven't seen it, that don't know, can we go down the line and tell us who you play in Nanny McPhee Returns? Okay, I'm Eros and I play Cyril. And uh, Cyril's basically like a posh snob that uh, is quite mean, but witty, kind of funny at the beginning of the movie. But then, you know, as it goes through, he gets nicer. Um, I'm Lil and I play Megzy. Megzy's a kind of independent, practical tomboy who, but through the duration of the movie, she learns how to share and sort of properly get friends with someone. Um, I'm Rosie, and um, I play the part of Celia Gray. And my part, Celia's um, brother, is Eros's character, Cyril. And um, she's very snobby as well, and she's Mummy's princess. And Mummy would always go out and buy her clothes from very fancy sh stores. And when she comes to the land of Pooh, which is Lil's mud, and in farm, she hates it and she starts kicking up and making all this fuss and screaming at everybody. Was that fun for you to play, the sort of bratty child and to be screaming a lot and raising a lot of trouble? <laughs> I like it because mm. I don't think I'm like my character that much at all. And so it's, you're acting something that you're never really going to experience probably, which is probably one of my favorite parts is actually acting because you're acting just yeah. completely different things from what you are. And also some, some parts of it so surreal yeah. It's just sort of... And Lil, this, uh, you had great experience by being on a farm, by living on a farm. Yes. How was it to, did you share some knowledge? Yes, well, the um, chickens on my farm, they don't get clamped to the floor. But they were very... <laughs> yeah, high class my, my chickens. My chickens are free range. Uh, they, they're very high class chickens on the farm. But um, yeah, the, the chickens that actually did the shooting, they had little clamps on their feet and but then yeah, stuck to were, the ground. They were cool because they, they just knew got that fed. if they sat yeah. there, so I, they, they'd, they'd shout cut and the towels would come in. And, and they they'd got fed. Yeah. And the chickens were just like, yeah, I'll stand here if I'm going to get fed. <laughs> it sounds like they got treated pretty well. All yeah, they wouldn't mind their job. Yeah. <laughs> stand there and get fed. How was it to work with the animals? I mean, obviously, we can't talk about this film without talking about the pigs. How was that experience? The pigs are great. They're really good fun in there, mm. and they actually like make a lot of noise. They don't really make yeah. the <laughs> noise, the noise that the like pigs usually. They they do like screaming <laughs> noises. And, stuff all and the if time. you're trying to act, and they have pigs in the background, and they scream and scream, and you try and act, but they always overpower you. Yeah, and all the actors, you just hear them just speaking really loudly to get over these, yeah. like to, to be heard over these pigs. And you got to play an interesting character. Cyril's a great little character just because you're snobby and snotty, but at the same time quite mature and quite nice, but you played the posh very well. Is that <laughs> something you knew? And uh, Well, it was, you know, I read the script and it was, I st like straight away had an idea of how I thought Cyril should act. He's very, very, you know, like you said, he's very posh, very snooty, mm -hmm. and he's very harsh, brutally honest mm -hmm. <laughs> towards the farm. But uh, yeah, so it was, you know, it was, fun for me to play him because he was completely different to what I am, like mm -hmm. posh, silly kid. Mm -hmm. So it was, yeah, it was a great experience. You know, one thing that's great about this movie is that it's so filled with this great magic, but all the miracles come from you guys sort of working together and learning these lessons. Can you talk about what, what are some of the magical things that happen that Nanny McPhee does in this movie? She's just, um... Well, I'm she like, she basically, to, to get us all to become like friends really to work together as a team she just she like she makes piglets fly swim you know she makes she does all she can to make us really become a team together mm. yeah and how was it when you first saw Emma uh, come on to set as Nanny McPhee in that makeup and <laughs> you didn't really expect it because I didn't know that she was coming on no. that day and, and then that you kind of do a double take and you're like ah I kind of did is that Emma <laughs> Yeah. Whoa! I had to do yeah, like a really big close up and look at her. It was me and Asa just finished doing a scene and we walked out, and then there she was just sitting there at the monitor watching her. We were like, whoa! Because <laughs> it's the first we'd ever seen like anything on her. Oh, wow. And yeah, she is, she's such an interesting character because, you know, in this movie, uh, there are a lot of lessons that can be learned, but at the same time, it doesn't feel like you're being lectured to. You know, it feels like it's, a, it's, uh, it's presented in a very real way. Did uh, Emma or the director tell you about like how we're gonna combine this sort of magic and reality all throughout? Yeah, um, 
the CGI, because of all the pigs, we would actually have a stick, and the stick had a tennis ball on with a bit of luminous tape. And wherever the tennis ball went was where the pigs would be running off to. So yeah. that was quite helpful. When uh, me and Ace did the scene where the pig flies between the two trees, uh, before we did it, they showed us a little animation of uh, like a really rough one of what the pig would actually yeah. do in between. They had like so we had something, board. you know, an idea of what would actually happen, and it was really cool. And they could yeah. just 